What's going on guys? We are back here with another video and the uh, highway to Halloween yeah, the highway to Halloween event is currently on, so that's great. So now we've got two new milestones added to the game and we're going to be talking about the best ways we can fully utilize uh, utilize uh, this event that's going on right now and that way we can make sure we get the most out of those rewards. So again with Pumpkin Smash, there really isn't much to it. They've got uh, they've got points earning here, and uh, they're they're being very uh, they're being very cynical and funny with using the number of the beast here. But again, each time you open a, uh, one of these lantern orbs, uh, we are basically earning points, so we can get essentially uh, Ghost Rider shards plus a lot of other goodies. So again, the more shards or the, the more orbs you open, the more points, more milestones you get unlocked. So again, very similar to the Nemo events we had a few months back there, and now. Uh, this is the one that we can fully uh, we want to take advantage of here and this is the uh, blitz event that's going to be going on here so characters with that trick or treat trait and that's going to be earning us a bunch of points here so again in total we get about 31 points per character used so if you're using five characters you're getting about 155 points with that win and then on top of that you get the seven points as well with the win so you get a total of 162 points per five characters used and I've tried blitzing, and if you just use five normal characters, like for example, X-Men, uh, you're only gonna get seven points. So again, if you wanna fully take advantage of this event, you wanna make sure you're using those characters with the trick or treat trait. And again, this is very similar to other previous milestone uh, events that these guys have had in the past. And let's take a look at the uh, trick or treat roster here. And again, um, these are the characters. There's only, there's only 20 of these guys. So again, you can only form basically a max of four teams essentially, but four teams is all you need. Uh, we've got, uh, we've pretty much got uh, all the teams here except for Ghost Rider for obvious reasons. We haven't had them unlocked. But again, with uh, these four teams, what I'm using is I'm using a higher end team with, with more do. I've got Groot and Raccoon in there, and then obviously Miles and Scarlet up there as well, just because they're a little bit higher. Next fourth, uh, I've got you know uh, Crossbones with Daredevil, Sabretooth, and then Mystique. And then next one, I've got a Spider Verse mixed with a Loki team. And then uh, I've got finally, I've got the last one there with the Stragglers, which it's a little weird team, but again, I've got Ultron in the mix of that team as well. So that way. Uh, they can provide a little bit more uh, umph, and uh, with Ultron, he makes everybody strong. So again, let's jump back into the milestones here. And again, uh, we have got ourselves four teams essentially. Um, not a complete four teams, but uh, pretty close. So other than the one team, which you're going to be getting 31 points less, that will be a total of 131 points for that team. But other than that, the other guys are going to be getting you 162 points. So in total, uh, when you do uh, have a set of four fights uh, you are going to be getting a grand total of uh, 131 plus you know plus 162 times three that's going to come out to about 100 ugh, that's going to come out to 617 points per you know per blitz session so again if we look at the math here and right now i've got about 2477 which you know that's already pretty much done for my day and a half there um, if you look at the totals there we have 15,700 points to achieve here within 13 days so again that comes out to about 1208 points rounded it's 1207.69 or whatever but it's 1208 rounded so again if we're earning ourselves about 600 points in one session that literally only means we only have to do it uh, in order to meet our daily requirement we would only have to do blitzing twice uh, twice with four teams in a single day. So again, a total of eight blitz fights is what you're looking for here. And uh, and I mean, if you've got eight full teams instead of this instead of my three and uh, four fifth team, uh, then you'll get more points as well. So I mean, obviously, if you decide to slot in another character, uh, for example, um, you know you want to use a refresh and it costs 25, then then yeah, then that's going to work out great. But again, I, you're still getting you know a decent amount of points with the three teams and four-fifths of my last team so again you guys can decide what you want to do there but these milestones are pretty easy to achieve which i gotta say uh thank you fox Next. Um, that's really nice because then it means you don't have to farm like crazy to get these rewards unlocked so again guys uh you're only gonna get seven wins or sorry you're only gonna get seven points per win if you're doing uh you know like an x-band team or if you're doing like a brotherhood or or i guess not a brotherhood because we have characters there that have the uh, trick-or-treat trait but uh, for example like if you've got uh, if you've got like a, a power armor team 
or a shield team, that's only going to get you seven points. So don't do that. And uh, and uh, what you want to do too is um, once you uh, once you uh, get into your blitz, I mean, what I've done is I've purposely lost my matches so I can bring my multiplier a bit lower. So that way, it can guarantee your wins as well. And that way. Uh, it's going to guarantee that uh, you won't have too much issues with it. And again, like I said, I'll just show you guys my team again. Uh, top notch at the high end is my, uh, you know, that's my higher end characters. And I've got them uh, up there. And then moving downwards, you know, you got a weird little mix of, you know, Mystique and uh, Sabretooth and then Daredevil and some other guys. Then you got Stragglers with the, uh, with the Spider-Verse and Loki. And then last but not least, I've got Ultron with the other guys that are left over there. So um, because of this is the 3.25 multiplier, I usually want to start off with my higher teams because, again, I want to guarantee that win. And just looking around, seeing what's a pretty, you know, pretty non-synergistic team here. And this one, I'm, I'm going to just auto play here. I think we should be okay here to win. But what you want to do is you want to make sure uh, you can form those teams that have similar power levels. If, they're, if they've got severe disparities in power levels that's going to make it a lot harder to win uh for your guys's fights especially if you're going to auto play uh, like i said for me um because this isn't a lower end multiplier i don't think we're gonna have too much issues with it plus these characters are pretty good at standalone like they're i know they're uh i know how their uh, their ai will react so they are actually pretty good so that way you don't have to worry too much about blitzing like crazy for this event and like i said they did make it so that you don't have to blitz you know 20 times a day for this uh to get the milestone award which is really nice i mean for new players uh for some players that are just busy 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 uh that's really nice of them to kind of just say you know hey just get your eight fights in or if you uh you know if you have those characters uh, obviously if you don't have all the characters that i had unlocked for trick or treat then just making sure you might have to just do it a few more times uh just to kind of get those points but again uh, oh, actually, you know what? We should we should keep track of the points here, just so I can show you guys here. So I'm gonna jump back into the milestone here, and that way you guys can just see the total. So right now we've got uh, 2,639, and uh, and like I said, we'll just jump back into Blitz here, and we're gonna quickly uh, jump onto uh, to my next team here. And like I said, I've got I've got some mismatched teams here, and the, like I said, I put these guys up together just because they're similar power levels and uh, it's just how the teams worked out but but I mean because of how the tiers are and it's lower end uh, it shouldn't be too much of an issue if you can drop down to 3.0 uh, try try to do that if you can and I'll show you guys how to drop down a fight too if you got really crappy characters I mean just put ones with really really crappy uh, you know AIs or you know they're just really crappy characters in general so example here would be like Night Nurse um, she's terrible because she just has no attack power and if you just put her with some other crappy ones uh, she's gonna lose for sure um, other ones like kingpin again he's just not very offensively oriented he's you know he's got good buffs for the team and uh, you know if, if he's with a villains team that sort of thing but just make sure you know you're putting them with like characters that they don't have synergy with each other and then you're gonna just make, make sure you lose other ones too that i use is like the aim team like you know just you know they're crappy they're low right now and that's why that's why i'm using them so again we just finished off there and I'll just show you guys once this loads. Um, yeah, so it looks like we are frozen here. Okay, no, it looks like we are frozen. Oh, there we go. Sorry, lag issues. So there we go, we get the win. Get the win. And now we'll just jump back into milestones here so you guys can see here. So again, we had 2,639 before and now we got two, uh, 2,801. So again, that was a total of 162 points that we got for that win. So now uh, now we've got, uh, let's see here, we've got, uh, we're gonna move on to the next team here. And you know what, I'm gonna jump with my, oh, wrong team there, sorry guys. I'm gonna jump with my, uh, let's see, spider, now I'm, I'm gonna jump in my Ultron team here. Let's get to try this one out here. And whenever this loads, whenever these guys decide to load up here, well, enter the fight but like i said again uh check the matchups uh you can always check for ones that you think you're gonna do more favorable in and yet like one had well, captain marvel and and uh you know you don't want to play against captain marvel uh she does a ton of dps as well so just pick the ones you're comfortable with and the ones you feel like your team's gonna win and again like i said your team's gonna differ uh, a little bit from mine depending on who you guys leveled up who you tiered and geared and all that good stuff and uh and uh Let's just see. And Ultron's really good. So I, I know I made a comment about not have, trying to not put teams that are too far in power levels together. But I mean, 
it really doesn't matter because uh, Ultron is just like he's just a standalone character and he just does so well on his own so um, I mean yeah it's just crazy the amount of damage he can do is just crazy and I mean uh, like I said he just, he just gives himself energy um, so so that's why I have him in here if you don't have Ultron that's fine uh, if you have Captain Marvel uh, if he's got like a, a, you know a character you know that can do really really well on their own a standalone character that can basically help the other team so I mean if you have other characters like there was Daredevil in there I mean you could probably put like Iron Fist or another Defender with that sort of team or I mean uh, another good one too is um, Black Widow she's good because she stuns she speeds up everybody she's a good one too uh, I, I, I personally really enjoy Black Widow um, Captain Marvel is really good as well. She's she's really good as a standalone character, and uh, there was a few brawlers in there, so you can definitely slot her in there as well if you don't have those characters. And now we're down to you know, now we're down to uh, 3.3 now. So now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna switch down to a crappier team. So what I was talking about earlier was let's see here, and sometimes you will win. So this is this doesn't always work, but but I'm just trying to show you guys an example. And I'll just put in some crappy crappy minions. Kingpin's really crappy with damage. We're at 3.3, so usually with the third tier, it's a little bit harder. And uh, yeah, you wanna you wanna just go for the hardest team. So there's a mini guardian team here. Uh, I hope I lose, because again, like I said, just you know, you wanna make sure you purposely lose. Keep your tiers low, and that way you can guarantee those easy blitz wins. And it's gonna take you less than like five minutes a day to do these blitz runs, and then you're solid. And I mean, if you've got more time that day. Uh, you can do more blitz, you know, that way you can kind of cushion up for the next day. If you're, you know, tomorrow I've got to work. I don't have time to touch the game, that sort of thing. And then you can kind of, you know, you can kind of um, basically get some extra points in uh, while you can. And then you can kind of cushion you. And I mean, like I said, again, uh, we do have like 13 days to get this event going and we have ample time. So I don't think anyone's going to have issues with getting the event done here. So I, I don't think we're going to worry too much about that. Um, yeah, and again, if you want, you, you you don't have to auto play this like I am, but I'm just doing it because I'm lazy. I'm gonna attack Groot. I'm gonna attack Groot because he'll slow it. He'll slow Kingpin down if he attacks Groot. Um, or actually, he might not have that passive yet. Actually, depending on these guys' levels. Yeah, but like like as you guys saw there, just pick the hardest team. If you got if you see a Magneto or a, or Brotherhood, sorry, and uh, or Defenders or some sort of meta team that will just kill your team. Do it up. That's the way to go. And, uh, and and uh, and I mean, mini guardians is as good as it gets. So that's why I was pretty happy when I saw these guys. Oh crap! Kingpin hits pretty hard. So I'm gonna actually attack. Yeah, I'm gonna attack Star Lord here first. And hopefully, uh, I mean, I don't. There's no way I don't. I don't think I can win this. I mean, he just doesn't have. He just. He just. He's just a crappy character for offense. So that's. But he makes great for losing blitz battles. So you know, every character has their time and place in the game here. So Night Nurse is another one. So again, I lost. Woohoo! And now we can basically jump in on the last fight there, which is the uh, uh, our Spider vs. Loki team. Again, just, you know, see what's out there. See if you guys can pick. Um, I don't know what's going on. It's just really, really, really slow. I don't know why. So this one looks like the crappiest. And there was a Defenders team. Uh, I mean, I'll probably still win against Defenders team. But, you know, pick the one that you don't, you know, you know you can win for sure. Especially if you autoplay and if you're not paying attention to the game or you're watching some videos or you're just... You know, just chilling on the couch, watching TV or whatever, and that way you don't have to waste too much time paying attention. And uh, let's see, yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna hit autoplay here and let this play out here. But yeah, Spider Verse. I mean, um, he'll just feed off of. Uh, I love Carnage. He's gonna just feed off of the kills, which is great. Uh, Venom's great. I, actually, yeah, it is nice they actually put the Spider Verse team as a trick or treat trait characters because yeah, they're they're a pretty good team. Um, and I mean, if you've got Miles in there as well, that works as well. Again, my Miles, when I got my, I think it was a five red star, it really shot him up in power level. And then he basically just got booted out from the rest of these guys because, yeah, he was a lot stronger. So there you guys have it. And like I said, just loading issues again. All right. So we won that one there. So like I said, um, do your four blitz fights and let's see let's go back to the final stone here and I mean we've already we're already, we're already at 3,000 so I mean uh, let's see 15,700 I mean we're supposed to you know if we're dividing this by the 13 days and then we multiply the 1208 by three uh, by the third day we're supposed to have 3,624 rounded so again 
it doesn't take much and uh just looking at all these rewards i mean it adds up really nicely after we get past five i mean you pretty much get five uh ghost rider shards per milestone award so that's really great i mean just getting all these awards unlocked will get you about like 65 ghost rider shards and i mean you need a hundred of these guys to get them unlocked so i mean with that i mean you're already getting like 70 shards out of this 65 70 shards so you're already you already pretty much got them unlocked and then i should have also mentioned as you get these milestones as well and i've got 10,000 right now but but as you get these milestone unlocked as well you'll get the orbs and uh with the orbs then they also have an increased chance as well to get uh, to get Ghost Rider. So again, like I said, we go up to the center pillar and just common drops there. He's got a 22% drop chance. So that's pretty good. So so there's a very good chance you're gonna get at least some of those from these orbs. And with the orbs as well, that ties back into the uh, to the other milestone, which I mean, I'll just jump back in here quickly to the pumpkin smash one. And again, uh, by opening more of these. Um, you will like right now we've got five so I mean we'll pretty much be in milestone three ish but like I said uh, some really great rewards here and wow you actually they got a lot of milestones here for this one. Oh yeah I guess if people are buying the orbs as well that will increase your chances but yeah no the rewards will be good they're getting lots of they're definitely making it very ample and very easily to farm him uh, into the game here which is really nice because like I said he's gonna be a very nice brawler and with Mordu and Scarlet Witch and with Doctor Strange as well and the upcoming Elsa that's going to be a very nice uh, it's going to be a very nice team for sure because those guys have always kind of been there in their own little space so it's really nice they're getting that love but all right guys that's all I got for now so just make sure you guys are doing those and that way you guys can maximize the highway to Halloween milestone event and uh, and then you guys can get uh, Ghost Rider unlocked other than that guys Thank you for watching as always and uh, have yourselves a wonderful weekend. All right. Happy gaming all. Yeah.